Hi, I'm Laura Garcia, a realtor with Keller Williams. And today I'm gonna to discuss how to submit a competitive offer in a top seller's market. As most people have found out, there's low inventory and that means there's not enough homes on the market for our buyers. Most buyers are getting stuck in multiple offer situations before they can land a property. Today I'm gonna to discuss some things you can do as a buyer to make your offer more attractive to a seller. If you add an escalatory to your clause to your offer, you are effectively trying to outbid unseen offers. For example, if you submit an offer at 340, but you have an escalatory clause up to 350, that means if any competing offer comes in up to 350, you are willing to outbid them in an established increment. This can help ensure that you don't lose the property when you are in fact willing to pay more, but also ensures that you don't overpay by outbidding yourself. The more money you put on the table, the more the seller knows that you actually have the money to buy this property and are less of, less of a risk for them. I personally have had sellers pick people just because they put 20% down versus 3% even though the offer was lower. And that's because they know that there's not going to be financing issues and they know that those people who are submitting the offer can afford the house. Similar to the last one, sellers like to know that you're willing to put money on the line, the more the better to make this deal work. There are ways to protect your binder, but on average, a higher binder demonstrates to a seller that you are capable of buying this property and you are serious. This means that you're writing your contract on a FAR bar as is contract or creating the NEFAR contract as is. This is demonstrating to the seller that you are not going to request repairs after the inspection. This helps them understand what their bottom line is and helps ensure that you're serious about your offer and that you aren't going to come back later and ask for 10 to 20 pay off. This is one I do not recommend, but it is something that realtors are doing in the current market. Waving the appraisal contingency. The appraisal contingency is basically stating that when an appraiser comes to the property, if you're willing to pay $350 for it, but he appraises at $340, you don't have to buy the property. By waiving your appraisal contingency, you're basically saying that you're willing to overpay for the property out of pocket. The reason I do not recommend this is you're overpaying for a property that the bank has not deemed is worth it. I hope this helps and I hope it helps some of y'all win some of those properties out there. And if you need any help, feel free to reach out.